While you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is the slaughter of the so-called Native American Indians. But that's not, but that's not what we supposed to be celebrating. You understand that? You celebrate Thanksgiving? Why? You believe in the Bible? Let me ask you that first. You believe in God and you celebrate Thanksgiving. Is do God tell us to celebrate Thanksgiving in the Bible? So why do you do it? Because we celebrate the wrong holidays on this earth right now. A lot of you celebrate Thanksgiving and you can't prove that Thanksgiving is in the Bible. But a lot of you say you love the Lord. It's time to wake up, repent, and come back to this Bible. Give me John chapter 8 verse 32. A lot of you really believe that Thanksgiving is of God, but it's not. We're going to learn the truth according to the Bible. We're going to see what God said. John chapter 8 verse 32. Come on. The book of John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. So Christ, this is Christ speaking in the book of John. He says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And the truth is what's going to make us free as a people. Give me the truth. What's the truth? What I said in the beginning, you're the Israelites, and we're going to prove that. God shows the people. The truth is you're supposed to be applying the laws that's written in this Bible. It's holidays in the Bible that you're supposed to be keeping, and Thanksgiving is not one of them. That's right. Thanksgiving is the slaughter of the so-called Native American Indians, the so-called Seminole Indians. I mean, the, uh, the tribe of Reuben and the tribe of Gad, you're celebrating their death. Read the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So God said that the laws is the truth. The laws of God is what's going to get us out of our captivity. The laws of God is what's going to make us free as a people. You are the Israelites. You are God's chosen people. Give me Lamentations real quick. Why are you celebrate Thanksgiving? Let's see why you celebrate Thanksgiving. It's because the leaders, your leaders have guided you the wrong way. They have taught you lies in this country. Read. Lamentations 2 verse 14. Watch this. Watch what the Lord say about your pastors. That, Because that's who you think your leaders is. Or that's who you take to as your leaders. But are they teaching you the correct way? Are they teaching you the truth of the Bible? Are they showing you the real high holy days that you're supposed to be keeping? They're not. Read. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2, and verse 14. Bring it out. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. So this is talking about your pastors, your reverends, your deacons. They're your leaders. They have seen vain and foolish things for you. Like what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the slaughter of the Native American Indians. And a lot of y'all say, you know what? I keep it because, you know, I grew up doing it. But you know the truth that Thanksgiving is not in the Bible. That's a harsh punishment to pay for what you're doing. You ain't getting away with it. Read it again. Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. And you know that it's not true, but when you go to your pastor, he tell you, you know what? God loves you anyway. That's what makes you continue to keep it. How you doing, bro? My name is Zephaniah. No, 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 stay over there, bro. Stay right there, stay right there, stay right there. Stay right there. It's just a, you know. How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. What's your name? Eric. Eric? Yeah. My name is Zephaniah. What, what you wanted to say? And it's Thanksgiving related to the Last Supper. No, it's not. Thanksgiving is not related to the Last Supper. What's the history on Thanksgiving? You celebrate the fall harvest. Say it again? You celebrate the fall harvest. The fall harvest? Yes, the first harvest. Where you learned that at? I learned that in school. You learned that in school? Yeah. Did you do any research on it? Yeah? Yeah. Talk to me. Give me uh give me the book. Give me the book of Colossians. No, first give me Isaiah 65 and 11. Thanksgiving 
Thanksgiving is the slaughter of the so-called Native American Indians. But that's not but that's not what we supposed to be celebrating. You understand that? You celebrate Thanksgiving? Why? You believe in the Bible? Let me ask you that first. You believe in God and you celebrate Thanksgiving. Yes, I do. Is do God tell us to celebrate Thanksgiving in the Bible? So why do you do it? Because that's what I was raised. That's that what you was raised on. Well, give me give me uh, Colossians real quick. I want Colossians chapter two. How you doing, bro? My name is Zephaniah. You celebrate Thanksgiving? Huh? I can't hear you. You celebrate Thanksgiving? Yes or no? Just keep teaching. All right, watch this. Read that. Huh? I pay homage. To who? To law. Alright, read that. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest hey. any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Bible says beware. You know what it means to beware? To be on what? To be alert. God says beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. You know what a philosophy is? Someone else's belief outside of the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So if God's telling us to be well, you're supposed to be alert when someone try to bring a philosophy to you that tells you that you're supposed to be keeping it. You understand? Like Thanksgiving. That's their philosophy. That's not of God, like you just said. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. Read it again. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Meaning lies. Lies. It's a lie. Thanksgiving is a lie. You understand? You, we as a people have been spoiled. Meaning, we was they they destroyed us mentally. They destroyed us mentally and lied to us with philosophies of their doctrines, but not of the Bible. You understand? You you understand? You with me? Read. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men. After what? After the tradition of men. Would you say Thanksgiving is a tradition of men? That's a tradition that man can't. Hold on. I want you to just. I want you to. Because you told me. You told me it's not of God. It was a doctrine that was created in America. Go ahead. I gave you the idea of the fall of harm. Yeah, yeah. You said it was part of the Indians, which is yeah, true. Because they were aboriginals. They were here first. But then there were the first, the pilgrims were the first settlers. But I, I, I can't you next time. Christopher right, Columbus landed the here, which was a conclusion. But I am a It did around me 2864. Right. But what does that got the door? So what's your nationality? They taught them how to say, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. What they did was they used, they created Thanksgiving as a way to celebrate the first, the first fall harvest, the fall harvest. But is that of God, or or was it a what? Did, who who created that? Was it man, or did it come from God? That's my question to you. It came from man. Now watch what God say. Read that part again. After the tradition of men. So the what you say. Thanksgiving is a tradition that man came up with, right? Yes. Yeah, now hold on. I want you to listen. Well, it don't matter who created it. It's, it's paganism, right? Is it paganism? Yes. Okay. All right. So you know these things. Why are you celebrating Thanksgiving? If you know that it's a pagan holiday and it's not of God. After learning, that's after learning. What you asked me did I do research myself. What but you still celebrate Thanksgiving. You just said, yeah, I celebrate Thanksgiving. But why? Why are you celebrating something that God... Let's read it again so you can get the full thought of what the Lord is saying. No, you understand what I'm asking you. But I'm now... So, okay, so now after... After I explain this, we're going to see if you're going to continue to celebrate Thanksgiving. Because you love the Lord, right? You love God? Okay, let's see what God said again. I want to read that again. The book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Lord is telling us that we got to be alert, like you said. Lest any man spoil us, meaning they destroy us through their philosophy. Meaning it was something that they came up with. And vain deceit, meaning lies. It's deceitful. Read. 
after the tradition of men. So, just like we was just talking, Thanksgiving is a tradition of who? Men. Men came up with it, like you just said, right? Right? Read on. After the rudiments of the world, meaning it was founded on the earth. Men came up with it. That's the foundation of Thanksgiving. What you just explained to me. The Lord is telling you to be alert. Don't let nobody destroy you and celebrate false holidays. Now, give me Mark real quick before we go to that other one. I want Mark 7 and verse 7. I mean, start at 6, and then we're going to get through the running. Now, watch this. Now, we just read in the Colossians. Christ going to say the same thing. Read that. Mark 7 and 6, yeah. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 6. He answered and said unto them, Well, hath the sayest, prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, as it is written, this people honoreth me with their lips. So a lot of people say they love God, like you said, right? A lot of our people, even Christ quoting what Isaiah said, he said, these people honoreth me with their lips, meaning I love God. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. That's our people honoring God with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But we don't do nothing the Bible say. We can come out here and preach to our people to show them that Thanksgiving is false and we're not supposed to be keeping it, but guess what they do? They don't really love the Lord. They're not going to say, come to a realization and say, damn. Okay, God told me to be alert. Don't let nobody spoil me through philosophies and things that was founded on the earth. Celebrating the tradition of men. And we'll read this and our people will still go and say, I'm going to keep it anyway. Because we don't really love God. Because when the truth come out, he said, you, but we're going to figure out. Huh? No, no, no. I, so you're going to eat some Thanksgiving food? No, I'm asking you, is you going to eat the food that they cooked on Thanksgiving? Yes or no? That's what I'm at. That's celebrating Thanksgiving. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 20. Now, I'm going to show you something. Now, it's, it's, now, all we can do is teach the word. It's up to you to apply it. You understand what I'm saying? You hear me? It's up to you to apply. Hold on, watch this. The, hold on, wait, wait. Come, come, come. Wait, watch this. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice. So the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, which is going into what? Thank, believe it or not, that's going into Thanksgiving. The things that they celebrate, read. They sacrifice to devils. To who? To devils. So that food that our people cook, that your parents cook, is sacrificed to devils, believe it or not. And if you partake in it, guess what you're doing? You're, you're uh, sacrificing to devils also. We're supposed to stay far away from evil. That's right. We're not supposed to, you say, you know what, Ma? Thanksgiving was a slaughter of the Native American Indians. I'm not going to partake in this food because I don't want you to think that I even celebrate it. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go grab me some food from the re a restaurant. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not even going to eat none of this food. I'm going to take a couple dollars out of my pocket if you ain't got nothing to eat at the crib. Then go grab you something to eat from a restaurant. Don't eat the Thanksgiving food because it's sacrificed unto devils. Now watch this. Give me that in Thessalonians. Now watch this. Uh, what was your name again? Huh? What was your name again? Gary. Eric. Now watch this. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 22. Eric. Eric. Watch this. Abstain from all appearance of evil. God said that we must abstain, meaning, you know what abstain means? Abstain to stay away from all appearance of evil. Now, we just read in 1 Corinthians 10, 22, the food that our people cook for Thanksgiving is sacrifice unto devils. If you go and eat and partake in that food, that's evil. That's what the Lord is saying. So we got to fall back from that. Now go back to Mark. Go back to Mark. And give me uh give me the next verse. Mark chapter 7, verse 7. Watch this, bro. So I want you to take this this information that we bring it out and apply it in your life, bro. We got to come back to the Bible. We're the Israelites. And the reason why we suffer as a people is because we celebrate Thanksgiving. That's one of the reasons. The holidays that we're supposed to celebrate, it's not the holidays that we've been celebrating on this earth. Not even Christmas. You celebrate Christmas? Christmas coming up too. I'm going to show you Christmas in the Bible when we're not supposed to keep it. But for, Now, I'm going to ask you this question. Before I go to that. 
take what you said into I can't hear you. Speak up. You said five. I'm going to take what you said into consideration. Speak up. I'm going to give you something. Else. Say it a little louder. Thank Speak you. loud. No, I appreciate it. No, watch this. Don't leave. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Watch this scripture. The book of Mark, chapter 7, and verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship me? God says, this is Christ speaking. He said, how be it in vain do our people worship him? How? Because you celebrate Thanksgiving talking about I'm giving thanks to God. That's not what I said. No, no, I ain't talking about you, but that's what our people do. But guess what? Hey, Eric, Eric, you're going to celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas, but Christmas and Thanksgiving is not of God. This is why we're in the conditions that we are in. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 